Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie, Editor-in-Chief of TheServerSide.com, and I wanted to give you a very quick example of how Git Ignore works. Now here's a normal Git repository. You can see it over on GitHub, Adam Baker Devo Echo, and you can see it pulled over here, Adam Baker Devo Echo. And as you know, if I was to create any file in here, so freddy.html, that file gets created. All of a sudden I do a git add, I do a git commit, dash m, and a git pushed origin. Well, that file is going to get added to my git repository and on a push to the remote server, it's going to get pushed up to the server as well. I mean, that's how git normally works. But maybe there's certain files that you don't want to have included in a git commit. Well, if that's the case, what you do is you create a git ignore file. So I'm going to create a new git ignore file. I'll do touch.gitignore. I'll do that at the command line, which will create this git ignore file right here. And whenever I try and add something to the index or do a commit, any file that is referenced in this git ignore file won't be added to the commit. It'll be ignored. And so I'm going to open this up and I'm going to say any file that ends with the extension Cameron or any file that ends with the extension McKenzie won't be added to the next git commit that happens. So dot git ignore is the file. It's put into the root of the project here. And watch this. I'm going to I'm going to use the touch command. I'll say touch hello Cameron and touch hello McKenzie. Touch is just an easy way to create files so you can see hello Cameron and hello McKenzie just got created. But watch this. If I do a git status, it's going to say, you know what? You've created a new file called git ignore but it's going to completely ignore hello and Cameron. So watch. See? As I say, there's an untracked file, git ignore. <laughs> but dot Cameron and dot McKenzie are both untracked but Git is totally ignoring them. And it's not just the fact that it ignores them on the file system as you do a git status. If I do a git add, say add all of the new files, and I do a git commit dash m git ignore example. Now I've added those files to the latest commit and I'm going to even try and push those files up to the server here. So do a git push origin and now in theory, if hello and Cameron were added to the latest commit, when I do a push, those should appear over here. Um, but they're not going to. The only thing that's going to appear is git ignore, because the git ignore file itself does actually become part of the commit. So watch, git push origin. Processes the whole thing. Now when I come and do a refresh over here, you'll see that the git ignore file is added. There it is right there, and the git ignore subfile says ignore everything that ends in dot Cameron or dot McKenzie. And of course, these two files here, well, they continue to float around on the file system, but they do not get, they are not made part of a git commit, and they certainly don't get pushed up to your GitHub or GitLab server. So here you go, that's a, a quick look at how the git ignore file works. Now, I'm going to allow you to get into more detail on this. You can see there's the Atlantean bet bucket page that talks about the different git patterns that you can have so i mean you know if you want to ignore certain files in a subfolder explicit files sometimes you can even say hey ex ignore all log files but don't ignore a log file that starts important so there's a whole syntax that you can use for specifying which files you do and do not want um, and i can allow you to get into that also you know when you create a new repository on github it asks you if you want to create a new git ignore file and there's a lot of online git ignore file creation tools as well but fundamentally that's how it works you put a git ignore file in the root of your folder you specify which files you don't want added to your commits and Git will take care of the rest. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief. We've got lots of great tutorials on Git, GitHub, Bitbucket, DevOps tools in general. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And please, if you appreciated the brevity of this quick tutorial, subscribe on the YouTube.